Hi folks, so here is my new module, my newest module in my uh, Eurorack modular series, the LFO, the Low Frequency Oscillator. It's essentially a, a slow and much simpler version of a VCO, but very, very slow. You can't quite hear it, and it's used to modulate other devices or other sound sources, stuff like the filter, for example, or the pulse width modulation on a square wave. That's very, um, very uh, useful. Or even uh, modulate the frequency of a VCO so you can create that nice uh, um, vibrato effect um, or uh, anything you can really think of. <laughs> All right, you want to do it? This video is sponsored. <laughs> That's not why well, this video is sponsored by P. Yeah, PCB Way. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. Yeah, they offer PCB manufacturing along with part assembly. Yeah, but they also offer a number of fantastic services like CNC, metal sheet fabrication, 3D printing, and even injection molding, turning it into a one stop shop for all your projects. Yeah, you did very well. So go to PCBWay.com, upload your project files, and get an instant quote. And thank you to them for sponsoring. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay. So once again, I opted for SMD components. It's a single panel, straight drop in. You can use that as is right in your uh, modular rack. And the idea is to make it, well, first simple and affordable for people who want to get into your rack synthesis. Again, you will need to source the parts yourself. So the Eurorack connector here, the audio jacks and the pots here. I'll have all the links in the video description and the Etsy listing. So the LFO is essentially controlled to one single pot. This a switch here that allows you to select two different rates that are then controlled by the uh, speed or rate pot here. So it outputs three signals, a sine wave, square wave and triangle wave. The sine wave has two extra controls here just to round off the top and bottom of the sine wave and the uh, offset. So you can actually tailor your sine wave. And last there's a CV in with an amount pot that can control the rate uh, itself. So you can use another LFO to create a more interesting wave or you can uh, use a VCO actually to uh, sort of create a sort of almost FM modulation on this. So that's a lot of info. Let's have a look at how you can use it and it'll make more sense straight away. As you can see, I've been uh, busy. Uh, I recently made this uh, custom box um, because it's actually more convenient to have everything in, uh, in one box. First thing I want to do here is connect uh, one of my VCOs to my keyboard. So I'm going to connect this to uh, this guy to the VCN. I need an envelope. This goes to my uh, VCA and my audio out is going here. We're going to take a square wave and if I've done everything correctly, I'm just going to add a filter to it. Uh, so I'm going to take the output from here and instead of sending it to my VCA, I'm going to send it to the VCF. Okay, so I have two VCO set up here. Uh, you can see they have different speed. So the little button here will actually just uh, allow it to go much slower. And if you flick that, it's a much faster rate uh, to start with. So the, 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 the this speed sort of starts where the other one doesn't quite fit. And the reason for that is you use different capacitor for each. Uh, there's no way to go around it. So uh, I've used two capacitors. They're actually just on top there and you switch between the two. Uh, so here we're going to take maybe a, a slower modulation, something like that. And we're going to send it to maybe the filter where it might be the more obvious uh, sound. So we're going to take the sine wave and we're going to send that to our filter here. And uh, there you go. It's, it's as simple as that. And from there, we can just send that signal to maybe the pulse width uh, modulation instead. We can also use the maybe, I don't know, the square signal and send that to our filter uh, instead. <laughs> And uh, it's interesting, you can create cool rhythm patterns with that or send our triangles. If I'm going to modulate both the pulse width modulation and the filter at the same time, I'd probably want a second LFO so they can actually just uh, move at different rates. So these are the obvious applications. You can also send the uh, modulation to 
the frequency and by increasing the rate you can actually get Now what happens if we use this, uh, we get our LFO from here and we want to send that to maybe this LFO and modulate that signal that way. Or send that to the filter. Anyway, folks, that's it. My fifth Eurorack module on this uh, project that I started this year. It's been quite the journey. Uh, the links to the Etsy shop will be in the description. And I want to thank as well everybody who's purchased the other ones. I, uh, I had to restock twice already, which is pretty pretty cool so thank you so much thanks for the trust and thanks for the support also thank you very much to pcbway for sponsoring these videos they've been great sports with my little silly skits so i can't thank them enough anyway stay tuned for more of these urac modules as you can see there's plenty more coming i'm not done with this project uh, more cover coming soon of course thank you for watching and i'll see you next time